Okay, we're up to part six of our exam review. If you've actually watched all of them, I say kudos to you. That's awesome you've come that far. Now, we are asked to find the first five terms. Really simple. You just plug your terms into y equals, or excuse me, your equation into y equals. Then go to your table and just plug in one, two, three, four, and five. And there are your first five terms right there. So it's as simple as that. So that would be your answer for number one, negative 3, 9, negative 27, 81, and negative 243. For number two, we would plug in 4 times parentheses x plus 2 parentheses, and we need factorial. To get factorial, go to math, then go over to probability, and it's the fourth one down. And we go back to our table, and there are our five answers. Now in number three, we have to do it a little differently because they don't give us the formula explicitly. Okay, they do tell us the first term right here, which is 3, so that counts as one of them. And then what they tell us to do next is how to find the next term. So to find the next term, you take the term you have and add 4. So 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 4 is 11, plus 4 is 15, plus 4 is 19. So when you see all this crazy n and n minus 1 stuff, just remember this. It's telling you what to do next. So it's telling you to take your term and add 4. So that's all we did over and over and over. Add 4, add 4, add 4, add 4. Okay, number 4 asks us to find the specified term. It asks us to find the 53rd term. For that, you simply plug in 53 for n. And when you do that, you should get negative 111. So that's the nice thing about sequences. To find a certain term, you just plug that number in for n. Number five, we can do this in the calculator. Um, yours has math zero. Now, unfortunately, mine doesn't have that, so I can't model that for you right here, I don't believe. No, yours is a different zero. Uh, it says summation on your calculators that you'll use. Uh, but I can do it this way. I can go to, let's see, where is my button? go to math and go to sum. I actually want to list. And I went to math and then OPS sequence of 4x cubed comma x comma 1 comma 6. So again, if you have it on your calculator, just use math 0. Something a lot like this will pop up and you can just fill in the blanks. And you should get an answer of 1,764. Okay, for number six, it says write the first five terms, okay? This is an arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic means you add the same thing over and over. So it's telling you, you start with 24, then you add seven over and over. So add seven, add seven, add seven, add seven. And number seven is doing the same thing. It tells you, you start with negative three, and then what you should do next is add eight. So add eight, add eight, Add 8, add 8. Okay, in number 8, it says write the explicit formula or equation for each arithmetic sequence. This is something that's on your review sheet. There's not your review sheet, your formula sheet that you'll be given on the test. It's this equation right here under arithmetic sequence. So it's going to be there for you. Just make sure you know how to use it. You do not have to memorize it. A1 plus n minus 1 times d. So A1 plus n minus 1 times d. So that is our equation. That's the explicit formula. And then it says find a8. That's the eighth term. So you just plug in the number 8 for n and you should get 106. Okay, in number 9 it says write the explicit equation again. So we know the first term is negative 7, but we need our d d is the common difference, which means what we add every time. So you actually have to look at it this time and figure out, okay, what am I adding every time to get this? And if you can tell, you are adding 8 every time. So that will be what we plug in for d. And then number 10, it says find the first 20 terms of the sequence. So for number 10, we want to find the sum the first 20 terms, so I'll do it from 1 to 20 because I need to add up a total of 20 terms. And the simplest way is to write the equation just like we have been. You put in a1 
plus n minus 1 times d. Well, what we're adding every time here is 2. So I put in 2 for d. So that will be your equation. You can use math 0 in your calculator to plug it in. You should get 440. In number 11, we're switching gears to geometric sequences. Geometric sequences, you multiply by the same thing every time. So geometric, you multiply by the same thing every time. Um, this is your first term, 3, and then this is what you multiply by every time. So 3 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Same thing in 12. It tells you your first term is 7 right here, and it tells you to multiply by negative 6. So multiply by negative 6, negative 6, negative 6, negative 6. In 13, it asks us to define the common ratio. So we're trying to figure out what is being multiplied. Well, uh, the simplest way to do this is to just take one term and divide by the one before it. So 16 over 64 gives you 1 fourth. Another way you might think about it is you're dividing by 4 every time. So that's the same thing as multiplying by 1 fourth. 14. Find the twelfth term when a1 equals 4 and r equals 2, and write the explicit formula. So again, this formula is given to you on your sheet. This time, it's this one over here. So again, you don't need to worry about memorizing it, just worry about knowing how to use it. So a1 times r raised to the n minus 1. So we get 4 times 2 raised to the n minus 1. That would be our equation. Then it says find the twelfth term, so you would just plug in 12 for n, and you should get 8,192. 15 asks the same thing. We need to write the equation, so we take a1, that's always the first term, times, okay, our r has to be what we're multiplying by. We're multiplying, it would appear, by negative one-sixth. I know it's negative because the terms or the signs are alternating, and I raise that to the n minus 1. So then I just plug in 7 to find the seventh term. And you should get 1 over 7,776, or about 1.286 times 10 to the negative fourth. 16, find the sum of these numbers, the first 30 of them. So you will do sigma, and you'll go from 1 through 30, and then you'll write the equation. You put R1 there, excuse me, A1 there. You are multiplying by negative 2 each time, then that will make your equation. So you can use math 0 and make that happen. And your answer should be 5368709111.5. So that's 536 million. 17. Okay, to figure out if things converge or diverge, we're going to want to use our calculators. So I'm going to plug this equation in, so 9x minus 5, and then I want to go to the table. The question is, what's going to happen as we go out to infinity? As we get bigger and bigger, what happens? So we plug in 10, 100, 1,000, and then kind of see what happens. So as you can see, the numbers in the y are just getting larger and larger. So they are also going to infinity, which means diverge. If you're going to infinity, it's diverge. If you're going to a number, it's converge. So, sorry, wrong thing. Let me uh, do this next one. So I do 8x over parentheses 2x minus 7. Close the parentheses. Make sure you put that denominator in parentheses or you get the answer wrong. Go to the table. Uh, here, it should be clear, we're not getting bigger and bigger in the y's. The y's are actually getting closer and closer to one number. In particular, they're getting closer and closer to 4. So it turns out that this does converge to 4. So diverge is infinity, converge is a number. Okay, 19 wants us to find the sum of the geometric series. So if you go back to your formula sheet, it is found right here. The sum is a over 1 minus r. So those are the three that I've circled here that you really need to know 
from the sequences on your formula sheet. So a over 1 minus r. So I take a, which is 5, and do 1 minus negative 0.3. And let's see, that should give you 50 over 13, or about 3.85. Okay, 22 says identify whether the following are arithmetic, geometric, or neither. Okay, arithmetic series or sequences, excuse me, add the same number every time. Geometric, multiply by the same number every time. So let's just see if 22 is adding the same thing every time. Well, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11, and 11 plus 3 is 14. So we appear to be perfect on that. They are adding 3 every time. So since you're adding the same thing, this would be arithmetic. Okay, let's try that on 23. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7. Okay, so there is a clear pattern here, but we're not adding the same thing over and over. We're adding 1, then adding 2, then adding 3. Make sure it's clear what we're doing here. So we're not adding the same thing, so it's not arithmetic. Because here we were doing plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, and so on. So that's good. That's why it was arithmetic, because we're adding the same thing every time. Okay, so let's see if we're multiplying by the same thing every time. That might be, that would mean it was geometric. So 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, okay. But 4 times 2 is not 7, it's 8. And 7 times 2 is not 11, it's 14. So it's not geometric either. So this one would be neither. You're not adding the same thing over and over, nor are you multiplying by the same thing over and over.